There are several specific things to remember about accessories. First, do not use accessories that are not specifically designed for the tool and recommended by the manufacturer. Just because the accessory can be attached to your power tool does not assure its safe operation. Next, accessories must be used only for recommended applications. For example, do not grind with the side of a cutoff wheel. Abrasive cutoff wheels are intended for peripheral grinding, so side forces applied to these wheels may cause them to shatter. Grinding wheels, on the other hand, should be positioned at an angle to the work surface in accordance with the instruction manual, typically around 15 degrees. Do not hold the grinder flat against the work surface when you are grinding. The rated speed of the accessory must be at least equal to the maximum speed marked on the power tool. Accessories running faster than their rated speed can break and fly apart. Just because the diameter of the wheel matches the diameter rating on your grinder does not mean it can be safely mounted. For example, a 5-inch cup wheel with a speed rating of 7200 RPM cannot be safely mounted on a 5-inch grinder that has a speed rating of 11,000 RPM. Also, do not use worn down wheels from larger power tools. The wheel is not rated for the higher speed of the smaller grinder. A wheel intended for a larger power tool is not suitable for the higher speed of a smaller tool and may burst. Also, the outside diameter and the thickness of your accessory must be within the capacity rating of your power tool. Incorrectly sized accessories cannot be adequately guarded or controlled. Always check your grinder carefully before beginning your work. If it is damaged or needs maintenance, do not use the tool until the maintenance is performed by a qualified person. Likewise, never use a damaged accessory. Before each use, inspect the accessory. For example, abrasive wheels for chips and cracks, the backing pad for cracks, tears, or excess wear, and the wire brush for loose or cracked wires. If the power tool or accessory is dropped, either inspect it for damage or install an undamaged accessory. After inspecting and installing an accessory, position yourself and bystanders away from the plane of the rotating accessory and run the power tool at maximum no load speed for one minute. Damaged accessories will normally break apart during this test time. Always hold the power tool by its insulated gripping surface. An accessory contacting a live wire or the power tool's own cord may make exposed metal parts of the power tool live and shock the operator. Always position the cord clear of the spinning accessory. If you lose control, the cord may be cut or snagged and your hand or arm may be pulled into the spinning accessory. Never lay a power tool down until the accessory has come to a complete stop. You should not carry your grinder with your finger on the switch. Do not start or run the power tool while carrying it at your side. Accidental contact with the spinning accessory could snag your clothing, pulling the accessory into your body. Another important detail to remember is to regularly clean the power tool's air vents. The motor's fan will draw the dust inside the housing, and excessive accumulation of powdered metal may cause electrical hazards. Do not use accessories that require liquid coolants. Using water or other liquid coolants may result in electrocution or shock to the operator. 